Week 11, King of the Hill, my friends. Big D versus Oskela from Australia, from down under, representing. The words are all jumbled up. And Big D from Korea. Oskela finished rank 10 last season. So this is going to be a close one. No heroes are banned today. No Yon Hong ban. Oski got it. Okay, he's got, he's got this. <laughs> um, once again, uh, this tournament is sponsored by uh, Tao Seafood Asia because we're into week 11. So week 11 through 15 is sponsored by Tao Seafood Asia. $100 every week and a thousand crystals from come to us every week. Next week, there might be a change in the tournament format courtesy of your boy Sean. Give me an idea, but I'm not announcing it yet because unless uh, I want get, to get permission from Sean first before before we go into that okay so we are ready game one here we go first pick oski ganime beat the hathor mo long nothing's changed i expect to see bd with vanessa no oski takes vanessa right there and goes with burna so two of beat these pocket picks taken away by oskila beat d however still has triana yon hong there's always the Yon Hong card. But do you need to pick Yon Hong in the second wave of picks knowing that your opponent doesn't have Yon Hong? Can it be reserved for last pick? Would it be the wiser choice? I don't know. I would I would pick Yon Hong last pick if I knew Oski doesn't have Yon Hong. But anyway, Triana Yon Hong, Hako Molo, and on Oskila side, we're having Ganime, ben Vanessa, Diana Perna Wusa. Okay. Lots of damage on Oski's side. With armor break from Vanessa. Yeah, into Diana's nuke, into Perna's nuke. Only one turn immunity on beat D side so far with Triana. Even Wusa's taken away uh, from beat D by Oski. So he always likes to go Wusa. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> is he playing with my heart? What is that Xiong Fei? I don't believe he's gonna go Xiong Fei. No way he goes Xiong Fei. Oh, the siren. Okay, the siren. The siren last pick. There's still the the, the Yon Hong into Hathor kind of combination. Now, obviously, the siren's pick to counter the passives, right? Diana, Vanessa, Perna. But in, he still bans out Perna, even though he's picking the siren. Yon Hong being banned out by Oski. He doesn't want any of that nonsense. So we're looking at Vanessa, Ganymed, Diana, with armor break from Vanessa on the side of Oski. And we're looking at Hathor Molong comp, which is very strong. Who's going to get turn one? I think Vanessa Wusa is going to get the turn one. Because there is no speed leader, right? On the side of uh, BD. Yep, no speed leader. So Wusa is getting turn one. Does Hathor get the all-important strip right here? Ganymed goes next. Do you reset? He resets Mo Long, not Triana. Armor break onto. So that's very smart. All gets resisted though. Yeah, he resets Mo Long, so no Reckless Assault, no Dragon Dance, unless Violent Proc. And then he's going for Triana, so Triana's passive, Triana's passive can't kick in. But however, there is Hathor right here with three dreams, gets it onto Ganymede, and leaves Ganymede open for Armor Break. No. No, he's not going to try an armor brick and kill Ganymede right here. He's actually working on onto Vanessa. Tries to sleep onto Molong. If Molong gets a violent here, he gets Dragon Dance next turn. Another sleep by BD from Triana, giving putting Ganymede to sleep yet again. So Ganymede's not moving anytime soon. Ganymede would, of course, like to ventilate into Wusa immunity. I think that's the plan right here. Vanessa procs a violent, which means Vanessa is going to sleep this turn if he so chooses to do the late promise. Armor break from Molong onto Vanessa. This the Siren is going to hit really hard the moment he moves. Are you going to do the late promise? Doesn't go for the late promise. Goes for a default attack. He knows. He wants Diana. Oh, 24,000 crit... Additional turn though, additional turn by Ganymede, ventilate into Wusa, going, definitely going for the Wish of Immortality Savior onto, onto Vanessa as well as preventing the team from going to sleep. However, Triana's turn right now, is she going to do heal or is she going to try burst down this Vanessa? Goes for Vanessa, doesn't proc a violin, 2800, non-crit, onto fire, doesn't get the armor break, but procs a violin, that's going to shake away armor break. However, Dragon Dance is coming up. 
there is Dragon Dance right now. He can he can strip the immunity. He can strip the shield. Gets the strip on the shields onto Diana only. That's tough luck. Stun onto Triana. Who's gonna go down first? There is Sweet Dreams. Next turn, no violence from Hathor. Next turn, there is Sweet Dreams to be able to strip immunity. Additional turn from Ganymede right here. This Triana is so close to death, no sustain on the side of BT, but Vanessa is already dead. Oh! Violence! Violence! From Triana! And now she gets immunity up! Oh, that is bad news! That is bad news! If this Diana drops to 70%, that's gonna be reckless assault right here. Choosing to go into human form, and for the inevitable wound onto Hathor, doesn't get the strip, gets an additional turn, goes back to unicorn form. However, that means Diana is going to be open for an armor break. Oh, but ventilate onto Wusa again, more immunity. Wusa is definitely going to move. Unless he gets Sweet Dream here, is Wusa gonna be put to sleep? If he doesn't get put to sleep, he does get put to sleep, he doesn't, and he's not on violent, so no immunity. Diana is gonna be open right here for an armor break. Can Diana do something before taking the armor break? Next turn, next turn, Wusa, is, is Wusa gonna move before, before, before Hathor? That's the question. Yes, he is. So no sleep from Hathor. And Diana is going to be able to shake away that armor break. Because Diana can go into human form. Is there another healing music? Yes, there is. This Triana doing so much work. You gotta go human form here. You gotta shake away that armor break. Okay, so he's gonna continue working onto Triana. That's the default attack though. Because he doesn't want to attack bar. Because he wants to keep immunity so he doesn't go to sleep. Another Ventilate onto Usa for another round of immunity. But a solid crit from the Siren on to Diana. Reckless Assault. He was reset, so no Reckless Assault. No Reckless Assault. Diana gets to live a bit more. But how do you kill this Tessarian? Diana is just inches from death right now. Inevitable Wound goes on to Triana. Gets enough attack bar to go back to Unicorn form. Probably gonna crit and kill Triana. Not quite this Triana. is so tanky. Ganymede doesn't even manage to finish. Can Wusa seal the deal? But even then, if Wusa gets it done, even if Wusa gets it done, Diana is one hit from death. One to Siren crit. Game over. And it's a crit. This to Siren doesn't, doesn't do a, an attack without a crit. Sweet dreams. That's it. Ganymede goes to sleep. I think this match was decided. I mean, granted, Oski did have decent procs. Oski did have did have decent procs. But I think this match turned around when Triana propped a violin out of stun. Or was it out of sleep? Something like that. Out of stun, I believe. And cast healing music. And then it all went south for Oski with Tassarian hitting so hard. Look at that Tassarian! Look at it, 34,000! I mean, we're late into the game, but still, this the Siren hit so hard, so hard. Wouldn't it have been better to seal Magic Triana and kill off the Siren first? Anyway, Big D takes game number one. First pick, Oski takes the Molong, lets the Gany Hathor through. I knew it was going to be Gany Hathor, there's no way you don't go Gany Hathor. But, Oski is going Vanessa, is he? Do you pick the Wusa? And Perna. Or do you pick the Siren Perna? You have to pick the Wusa away. Otherwise, Gany Wusa. So gross. So, Wusa, Perna, Molong. Very standard, very strong combination. Diana being picked away by BD. I think he's gonna cancel Diana. No! He follows through with Diana. Oski going with double immunity with Veladrol. I think this is probably the first time we're seeing Veladrol right here up against BD. One of my favorite picks against Hathor is actually Veladrol because he sometimes can uh, get the resistance off and one century can win you the game right there. It's gonna be Veladrol, Leo, last wave of picks? No, takes the Vanessa again, stops Beat D from getting the Ventilate Vanessa combination up. From the looks of it, running double immunity, Oski seems to be going for the Yon Kong ban. Looks to be. I'm sorry, I'm a little hyper today. Haven't slept in about close to 30 hours, so. 
It, the words might come out jumbled, okay? Again with the Triana pick, this pick has served him well throughout this series, throughout this tournament. I don't think he's ever gonna give up on Triana and it's, it's proven that it's a really strong unit, especially coupled with the type of uh, uh, team that BD has. What's the ban gonna be? Do you take out Yon Hong? Yes, Yon Hong is being taken out. So, Vanessa, double immunity and Mo Long. If he can get one armor break onto Triana, if Oski can get one armor break onto Triana, he's gonna win this game. If I were Oski, I wouldn't do Dragon Dance because there is. No, actually, I would because I mean, Triana can still sustain. So you need to armor break Triana, crit from Velajewel into Reckless Assault. Full win comp, by the way, on beat B side. Wu Sagas turn one, of course, 33% speed leader. Sweet dreams, gonna come up soon. Working on to Triana right here, trying to drop her. Oh, goes for the Reckless Assault right away. Vanessa, do you have the power? Not quite, not quite. Not enough power needed one violent proc to seal the deal. Couldn't get it, and now Mo Long is in some trouble. Because Inevitable Wound is gonna drop him to that. Oh, and then an additional turn. Additional turn by, by Diana, and that's gonna drop Mo Long to really low. Even though there is sustain from Vanessa. Where is the burst to kill Triana now? There is Ventilate. He could very well Ventilate. Oh! Gets the strip onto Velajewel, delayed promise, gets the sleep, you can't cast Sanctuary now. It's all up to Vanessa, can you Violent? Gets one Violent, not enough damage though, not enough damage to kill this Triana, too tanky, too much stats, defense, HP, speed, everything, even resistance. This Triana is so hard to bring down, picking Molo was the right choice, because Molo is the reliable 70% nuke that he needed to kill this Triana, but... If one Violent right here doesn't get it, he can still heal up next turn. Ventilate on to Hathor. <gasps> That's gonna be another delayed promise. Doesn't get a sleep, but Molo gets additional turn. The only stuns Ganymede. Unfortunately, delayed promise. Everybody goes to sleep again. Velodro resisted the sleep though. If Velodro can Violent. If Velodro can Violent right here. And to Sanctuary, we're gonna see a comeback. If Velajo can Violent right here, out of this sleep, can he do it? Oh, Violent from Triana healing music? And another 8,000 HP added on top of that. Can Velajo Violent? No, seal magic doesn't matter if he violence. Ah! Oh. That's it for the comeback. I mean, Velajo does resist the sleep here. He's still gonna continue going for this Triana, but too thick? This Triana too thick? Way too thick? There is Wish of Immortality though, I think. There should be this turn because Wusa wasn't seal magic unless Wusa uh, takes a stun right here. Nope, uh, Invisible Wound going on Wusa. Doesn't put a dot down, gets the additional turn, no dot. I mean, full attack by Wusa. Do you have Wish of Immortality? No, you don't. Uh oh. That means Wusa's dead. That means Wusa's dead. And there's no Sanctuary because he got seal magic. Oh boy, and a stun from Diana onto Velodrill. Oh my god! When wind stuns fire and water can stun wind, you question RNG. Wish of Immortality, the last saving grace. The last saving grace for Oski here. Can you kill this Triana? So tanky. Oh, Molo goes to sleep. Yet again, however, there is the revive from Vanessa. There is the revive from Vanessa. Because Vanessa wasn't still magic. Oh no, the revive gets used onto Wusa. And Wusa doesn't have anything. And additional turn from Diana, working down, chunking down onto this Wusa. Everyone's so low. Additional turn from Vanessa. Can you finish the job? Not quite. Di this. Oh, this Triana so thick. So thick! Oh, strip! Do you have Sanctuary? Doesn't have Sanctuary. Finally he kills! Finally kills Triana, but delayed promise everybody goes to sleep. 
Everybody goes to sleep. No chance to even do sanctuary right here. He needs one sanctuary to turn the table. One sanctuary. But that's the end of Wu Sao essentially wasting the Vanessa revive. And Vanessa has uh, one more turn of immunity. Going for Diana. Okay, okay. Can he kill this Diana? I mean, we're looking at Ventilate into Hathor for another delayed promise coming up soon. Just seal magic onto Molong. Okay, he can do an armor break right here. But uh, to what avail? I mean, to what end? Because Diana's just gonna shake it away. Oh, and this return from Hathor. Sweet dreams. Vanessa goes to sleep. Human form. And there goes the armor break, and there goes Molong as well. Okay, 2v3, fire versus wind. Ventilate into Hathor, into additional return, into delayed promise, no doubt, coming out from this Hathor. And the cycle continues. Additional turn, oh boy, just rubbing it in right now, just rubbing it in. Inevitable wound onto Vanessa. There's the delayed promise, everybody goes to sleep again. He wakes Vanessa though. Can Vanessa violent here? Crit from wind onto fire yet again. I mean, everyone will die with a high crit rate anyway. One last chance for Vanessa to armor break. Gets it. Doesn't proc a violent. Can't finish this Diana. That's the end for Vanessa. Sayonara. One more hit from Ganymede or Diana is gonna finish her. Gives up and game two goes the way of the the yet. Again, game three. Should you go Fire Monkey against this Hathor Kong? Should Fire Monkey be the pick here? I mean, wait, Oski goes Ganny Hathor instead, while BD goes Vanessa Molong Triana. So they have each other's units except the Yon Hong, but Yon Hong is probably gonna be banned up by Oski. What's this pick? Is it gonna be better draw? No, goes for Ciara. Goes for Wusa. That's the right. That's the right play here. That's the right play here. Diana gonna be picked up by Beat the last pick. Yon Hong, no doubt about it. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. Yon Hong. There we go. Ciara picked up by Oski. But is Ciara gonna be let through? Is Wusa gonna be banned? So much nukes on the side of Oski, I kinda like it. I kinda like the fact that he's bringing Perna Ciara in there. Coupled with Gany Hathor. That's a lot of damage. Yeah? That could be enough to take down this Triana. It could be enough. So, Hathor's being banged up by BT, Yonho's being banged up by Oski. And we have Ventilate Perna for many, many lives. Is this enough damage to kill Triana? I'm rooting for, for Oski right here. Okay, you know me. I always root for the underdog. I always root for the one that's losing right now. Okay, turn one Husa gets immunity up. No strip until Molo moves. No strip until Molo moves. Who would you go for? Would you try and reset? using Ganymede, would you reset Triana? Would you reset Triana and kill Vanessa? Would that be the better choice? Because Triana also offers immunity. So wouldn't it be better to reset Triana? She's so thick. She's so thick, right? So Oski indeed goes for the reset onto Triana right here, working on Vanessa next, definitely, right? Flame Nova, that's gonna chunk down. <gasps> this Vanessa is so thick too! 40k Vanessa with with resistance and speed <laughs> It's all so thick It's <laughs> What 40k If I were if I were Oski right now my heart would have sunk right there don't st come on oh my lord oh my lord additional turn if he stuns Wusa if he stuns Wusa right here okay 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 that, that didn't stun okay okay Perna Perna 
for a stunning Diana. That's good. Another Fame Nova. Half HP left. Okay, Wu's just going to wish for a charity, but Reckless Assault is coming. Do you stun up Mo Long to buy time? No, do you have a bomb? You have a bomb, right? Wait, 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 why are you not bombing? Yeah, yeah, stunning Molo. Alright, stunning Molo. Don't get resisted! Seppuku! Seppuku right here! The stun gets resisted! And water! Armor breaks win! Why not sleep? Yes, sleep! Rub it in! Oil on fire! Rub it in! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Perna though, can you do it? One violent Perna! One no violent, uno violent, come on! <laughs> oh boy, he's going for the reckless assault? Yes! And this Diana is gonna finish off Ciara right here. Diana is not gonna hold back, gonna finish off Ciara. Does Triana have healing music? That is the question. Yes, she does! Yes, she does! So Molong gets topped up from 1 HP. Vanessa can take another Flame Nova. Perna, can you kill? Can you seal magic Triana again? Yes. Yes, gets additional turn also. So some luck Oski's way. Another Ventilate into Wusa for another... Wish of Immortality, Dragon Dance, are you gonna stun? Later, ADK, it stuns Wusa! So Wusa doesn't have the chance to do Wish of Immortality, I think. No chance. Because this inevitable wound, inevitable wound right here is gonna finish Wusa, right? No, no, no dot, but then gets full attack bar, full attack bar. Armor breaking, that's it, Wusa's dead before. Oh wait, but heal though. Stun? No. Flame Nova. Violent proc! Violent proc! Flame Nova! Diana's dead! Wish of immortality is granted! Go Oski! <laughs> Go Oski! Go Berna! 2-1! It is not a 4-0 sweep! Yes! Don't get me wrong, nothing against BD. I like him, but we want to see a close match, right? We want to see a close match. Game 4! Yeah! Half of first pick, Oski. Gany Molong, second wave of picks. Taking away the Gany. The, the Gany was so important for Oski right here. Now I think BD is going to go Usa. He's gonna go Wusa. I think he is. With the Gany Wusa combination. Ventilate mortality. Ventilate mortality. So, so hard to deal with. But no. Is he going Triana, Diana? Or is he going <gasps> Rocky? Fortnite emote right here. Virat for the first time. The first time. Are we gonna see Varad for the first time? No! Ciao! For the first. Oski, stop playing with my heart. Stop playing with my heart right here. It's Diana. It's Diana, but Diana into Rocky though. I don't know about that. I don't know about Diana into Rocky. Last pick, Triana. Usa. Triana or Wusa, it's gonna be one or the other. I don't see anything in the pool of picks anymore. It's Triana Wusa. Looks to be Wusa. Now, again, firmly, always banning Yon Hong. Not wanting to deal with the BS that Yon Hong can provide. Now, with Gani Wusa, Ventilate Mortality, the only strip being Inevitable Wound by Diana. Is that enough? Is that enough? Remember, Reckless Assault. All BD needs to do is deal 30% damage with Rocky. And that's it, something dies. 
In fact, he could very well reckless assault right away. But Perna is gonna stop him from assaulting. No, doesn't get the crit. For sure, wish of immortality. For sure, reckless assault. For sure, Rocky's gonna do Soul Crusher. Right there and then, Perna doesn't get a chance to revive. But Inevitable Wound gets an additional turn. Can you stun Mo Long? This is crucial right here. Can you stun? Gets the stun, but additional turn out of stun. Doesn't go for a reckless assault because he is at half HP. Goes for instead the Dragon Dance. Rocky gonna Soul Crusher. Is he gonna do it? No. Goes for Shatter. Probably a tanky Rocky. I don't know. Do you armor break Rocky? Can you land? Or oh, was he seal magic? He was seal magic. He was seal magic. Perna, can you stun this Rocky? Gets the stun on Rocky. So Perna gets to live a bit more. Just a bit more. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna take the first life of Perna? He goes for the first life on Perna. He doesn't care. Perna comes back. Because Vanessa's being reset, right? Vanessa's being reset, so there's no revive from Vanessa anyway. Seal magic onto Diana. No human form for it forever. Molong's almost dead. But then, Wish of Immortality, round two. No inevitable wound to strip that. Armor break, no doubt, onto Perna right here. And that's the Rocky finish coming up right here. There's gonna be a Rocky finish. Can you do something here, Virgil? Violent? No violent. That's it. Soul Crusher, Sayonara. Sayonara. Perna. But then. No, the, the only sustain on the side of Big D is Wusa's, Wusa's, uh, what is the mountain's power. It doesn't heal for a lot, to be honest. But it's enough, because there's not much burst left, right? This Diana can't go human form. All right, uh, now she goes human form. Are you gonna go on Rocky, or are you gonna go on Mon Long? Which would you, would you go for? Going on Rocky, going on Rocky. Bellagio, another dot? No, Sanctuary, Sanctuary. Vanessa, do you armor break? Do you have armor break? Yes. No, get resistant. Goes back to unicorn form. Can you stun Rocky? Can you stun Rocky? Doesn't get the stun. Rocky's gonna shatter. Get attack bar. No default attack. Probably not max kill. The moment Diana dies though. Wait, does Vanessa have revive up already? Does she have revive up already? I don't know. Next turn though. <coughs> Next turn. Next turn Rocky's gonna die because Velodro is punishment. There we go. Dead. Rocky dead. 3v3. Three three. Wish of immortality though. There's two. Oh, stuns Diana. Stuns Diana. Who do you go for? Going on to Molong. <coughs> Going on to Molong. Wish of immortality. Molong can just do reckless assault right now without any fear. It's gonna kill Diana. It's gonna kill Diana. Seal magic onto Diana. Seal magic onto Diana. Diana's about to drop dead. Does Vanessa have revive? Does she? Does she have revive? Someone's trying to call me. God damn it. I gotta take this call. Hello? Sorry guys. This is this is the fucking Singapore Armed Forces. Your mission should you choose to accept <laughs> and all that bullshit. <laughs> Sorry guys. Had to take that phone call. Game number five, match point for beat the first pick, Mo Long, being taken away by Oski. Gany Hathor by beat D, Vanessa Perna, the answer from Oski. Do you go Vanessa Perna? Or do you go a different route here? Do you change it up? Is Diana... It seems like whoever picks Diana loses. Correct me if I'm wrong. It feels like Diana has been losing every time she was picked. Right? Anyway. Triana Tassarin? I don't think so. I think Wusa's gonna be in there. Or is it gonna be Tassarin? Is Yon Hong last pick? We know that. 
So you're gonna fight Tassarian, Hathor, Ganymede, Triana. Tassarian is a lot easier to deal with. For sure. Wusa! Why not Villajewel? Because Amelia helps Villajewel skill. Right? Amelia helps Villajewel skill with the defense buff. The defense buff does not benefit anyone here, except from Villajewel. So I'm not sure about the Wusa pick. I know turn 1 is an important factor here. Turn 1 immunity against a Hathor comp is invaluable. Oh! Oh, he is not going with Yon Hong. Goes with Tiana. Ah, interesting. Interesting. What do you do here? Do you take out Hathor or do you take out Tiana? It's, it's the, the jig is up. It's a bait right here. Do you take out Hathor or take out Tiana? Takes out Hathor. Tiana is let through. Wusha is being banned down. So I think the 50-50 paid off in Oski's favor. I think it paid off in Oski's favor. He let Tiana through. His Wusha was banned. So Tiana is not stripping Wish of Immortality. So the 50-50 goes the way of Oski right here, I think. In, in terms of the, you know, gambling on who the opponent is going to ban. However... Is it enough? Is it enough? This Tassarian hits like a truck, a fire truck. We've got seal magic onto Vanessa if he wants to do it. So no revive. Oblivion isn't gonna matter because Amelia is gonna be able to cleanse that unless it gets seal magic. So then no immunity. No immunity and we're left with a blue unicorn. What can the blue unicorn do against this? Triple crush onto Vanessa. Everything lands. Armor break. Oblivion and the crits. Vanessa is one crit. One Tassarin crit from death. And it cannot be cleansed. It cannot be cleansed. The fact that Triana got the turn one sleep onto Bolong kind of sealed the deal right there. Get the freeze on Tassarin though. Is he going to violent? Is the siren going to violent? Ventilate onto Tiana. Winds of change. Are you gonna do it? Do you get a stun onto Tiana? Doesn't get a stun. Additional turn. Get the stun. Gets the stun onto Tiana. No winds of change. Tiana with the healing music, cleansing everything. Molong does dragon dance. Three men stun. Way to go, Molong. He is continuing to work on. Work on the siren here because the siren is squishy, way easier to kill than the super thick, super thick Triana. So if you can kill the siren, pop the passive, no problem. Reckless assault. No, I don't think reckless assault to use to pop the passive though, but rather just killing this the siren by brute force. No, he's changing targets, going for Triana now. Maybe it's just for the attack bar. Perhaps it's just for the attack bar. Because there's armor break on Tassarin. Oh, he gets the reckless assault. And that kills off Triana. And a dish return from Vanessa. This is going to be a comeback right here. One more hit. And the only damage dealer is out for BD. And this is why BD doesn't usually mess around with his picks. Because you try something out. You don't pick Yon Hong, you go with the Tiana. Right away. Players like Oski, all these top 100 players, Oski's top 10, they're gonna capitalize on that and they're gonna punish you. So, this is the reason why I think that BD sticks to that 6 7 picks. All right? I mean, kudos to him, he's trying out something new here. So that we have, we, we have more games and, you know, perhaps something might work and it could be the meta. Kudos to him for that. But also Oski not cutting any slack. If you give him an inch, he won't take it. Okay. So we're going definitely wait a minute. This Tiana is starting to hit a little hard. No. Okay. 
game six then yeah we're gonna go to game six right now beat d3 oski two game six begins gany hathor by oski vanessa molong by beat d gonna be yon hong yeah not messing around yon hong right there oski going with perna now beat is taking this one real serious i mean because if it doesn't I mean, if he loses this, he's going to feel the pressure, right? It's going to... Rocky again. Yet again from B. Rocky again from B. Day. It worked out pretty... Oh, no. Actually, not Rocky. Goes with Triana, Diana. Okay. But the last time, he went Diana. It didn't work out for him. Remember? Mmm. Ah, fire monkey. One fire monkey, though, is not enough. One fire monkey is not enough against Gany Yon Hong. Trust me, fire monkey user. Against Gany Hathor, it's not enough. It's not enough. That Hathor will land a weakened attack on your fire monkey all day, every day. Been there, done that. I thought he was gonna go Laika, I was quite hyped, but he's not going Laika. Yon Hong's being banned out. We're looking at Vanessa Mo Long Fire Monkey Diana. Turn one's going the way of Oski. If Mo Long gets the strip into Vanessa Armor Brain, game over for Oski. Okay? If that happens, game over. Wusa turn one, Mo Long turn two. So if Molong gets strip stunned right here, game over. Is he doing it? Or is he going for Reckless Assault onto Ciara? He goes for the Reckless Assault onto Ciara, not messing around. Danny's turn. Seal Magic onto Vanessa. Doesn't get the reduced attack bar onto Diana. But delayed promise right here. Doesn't sleep Vanessa. Do you bomb the monkey? Yes, you do. But you don't blow it up. You don't want to touch the monkey. You don't want to give a single step to the monkey at all. Because the monkey is going to punish you. But with immunity, with immunity, it's kind of okay for Sierra. I don't know about the Vente onto Hathor. Could it have been to save Sierra? More delayed promise, more attack bar reduction. Is it a waste? Do you have another bomb? Oh, gets four stacks to the fire monkey and loses immunity. Ah, is that a mistake? Five stacks, one hit from this monkey right now. Can you seal magic the monkey? If not, that fire monkey wand. Oh, violent, violent. And you can't stun him. That's it. That's your only damage dealer. You can't kill the fire monkey now. You gave him 10 stacks? Oh! It's all downhill now. It's all downhill now. It's all downhill. You know, now that I think about it, if you were running a team like that, Would it be okay to let Yong Hong through? Hmm, I don't know. I mean, this fire monkey isn't isn't vampire. He's not vampire, and he got seal magic, so we can't leash life. Weaken attack is not being landed by this Hathor though. This Hathor can't seem to land weaken attack onto this fire monkey. He hits for three thousand only on default attack. He's almost dead. One more hit, one more crit from Musa, and the fire monkey's dead. It's still possible. Oski's not giving up. It's still possible. Oh, Fire Monkey dead 3v3. Molong's really low. Molong with the Dragon Dance. Gets the stun again. Gets the additional turn. Gets the additional turn. That's clutch. Armor Break onto Usa. Sweet Dreams sleeps Diana again. Working onto Molong, no doubt. Gets Wish of Immortality. Gets some immunity up first. Is this possible? Is, he, is this possible? Another additional turn from Molo into another Dragon Dance, stripping away immunity yet again. 
Do you have another ventilate? Do you have another ventilate, Ganyme? Seal of armor break. Oh, it lands! It lands! Seal magic, ventilate, anything, Ganyme besides default attack. Do you have it? Seal magic, gets the attack bar reduction. Hathor shouldn't go. Hathor doesn't have anything though. Can you sleep? No, can't get to sleep. Oh, what a crit! Okay, okay, reckless assault right there. Three v two, but Diana's damage. Diana's damage though. Can Gany Husa beat Vanessa Diana? Can it be done? I mean, Gany hits pretty hard. Can it be done? This Diana's gonna hit real hard now with an invisible wound. Oh, that's almost. And into the attack bar. Additional turn. One hit. And additional turn. Sayonara. It's over. It's over. It's over. Good try, Oski. Good try, Oski. And good game to beat the once again King of the Hill, taking the series in six games, four to two. I'd say these were pretty good games. These were pretty damn good games. Yeah. <laughs> but alas, okay. I mean, both of them had pretty good RNG props here and there. I would say so. But that, that Mei Ho Wang, that Violent from Fire Monkey Wand, the armor break into Violent Crop. You take the bomb damage, but you can't be stunned. That, that kinda, ooh, that hurt. Okay, we're gonna end the stream here. Thank y'all for watching and supporting this tournament. Um, yeah, like I said, next week's format, there could be a change. I'll update you guys about it uh, on social media or even in YouTube videos, okay? So um, that's it, and I'll see you guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! The sunlight begins to fade now feel like I'm losing time, but I don't know how I'm here. The sunlight has turned to gray, and I feel like I'm losing love again. I don't know how I'm here.
It's you that I want to need 